Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and I'm pretty excited to uh, make this video today because as of a couple days ago, this George Harrison record came in, the uh, George Harrison Live at Japan, and that completes my George Harrison Vinyl LP uh, discography. So does that mean I'm stopping uh, buying George Harrison uh, records? No. I'll kind of explain as I go through, but um, from what I consider to be his uh, core catalog, uh, vinyl album records throughout his solo career, this was the last one that I uh, needed to have on vinyl, and I picked it up on eBay a few weeks ago, and um, it arrived a couple days ago. So... What I thought I would do for this video is just show you all the George Harrison uh, LPs, uh, compilations, some 12 inches that I have in my collection as of so far. And um, yeah, I'm just going to run through it and we're just going to dedicate this video for, uh, for George Harrison. So here we go. Starting off with uh, his first record of uh, Wonderwall. And this is the uh, just the U.S. first pressing with the insert. And then we got the new 2024 20, uh, RSD um, Wonderwall picture disc Zootropic record. And um, so that kind of brings me of what am I going to do with the George Harrison records from now on. So I'm still going to look for kind of variations like that if there's any new stuff or new reissues, things of that nature. And for example, like Dark Horse, there was a different cover that came out in the 80s on Capitol. Um, so I'm looking for stuff a little bit more interesting. Um, I might not necessarily go for other countries unless it's a really unique cover or something like that, but um, probably looking more for like reissues or remastering um, or just kind of interesting kind of one-off pressings like All Things Must Pass. Um, there's the original version, the RSD 2010 version, the 2001 remix, and then the new 2020 the 50th anniversary one so there's still stuff for me to to uh to find out there but anyway next up we got electronic sound on zapple and then of course the rsd 2024 uh, picture disc and next up we got my original all things must pass Spine's kind of beat up, and I guess that brings me to my next point, is that I'm probably looking for upgrades now. Um, if records came with uh, hype stickers on them, um, I would tend to look for look out for those and then replace and upgrade what I got in my current collection. But uh, yeah, this is the George Harrison uh, 50th anniversary splatter vinyl version. I don't have the 8 vinyl box set, but that might be something... I look out for now uh, for good prices kind of out and about so keep an eye out for those and uh, next up we got concert for Bangladesh this one again this box is pretty beat up so I might look up look for an upgrade at uh, some point in time all right then we got um living in the material world And speaking of Dark Horse, this is a um, original pressing, and then the other version of this cover came out in the 80s on the, on the green capital label for their budget labels, and I uh, had this as the front cover. And then something I kind of uh, researched or found about is that there's a version where this, uh, this figure right here is smaller, so it would be like all in the white instead of out from the white. So I'll be looking for those as well. And next up we got extra texture. And we got 33 and a third. Inch leave. Uh, kind of my first uh, kind of 12 inch kind of promo. And this is a Dark Horse uh, Records presented personal music dialogue with 
30, uh, with George Harrison about the 33 and a third uh, RPM album. So looking for those kind of promo 12 inch singles as well. Um, but as far as the vinyl albums, I believe I got all of them. So we got George Harrison self title here. And we got a couple compilation ones here. Uh, this is Best of George Harrison. This is the US version. There's the inner sleeve. And this is the uh, UK version on the NFP uh, budget label there. And we got somewhere in England next. Now there's a uh, hype sticker that had uh, that uh, promotes um, all those years ago. Yeah, there we go. So there's a yellow circular oval hype sticker, so I'll be on the lookout for that one. And we got another promotional of all those years ago, 12 inch. I got a guy on Tropo. Uh, another promotional 12 inch of Wake Up My Love from Gaon Trapo. And this is uh, I Don't Want to Do It promotional 12 inch uh, single from the Porky's Revenge soundtrack. <laughs> I really uh, like the song a good bit. And let's see, we got George Harrison Cloud Nine with the hype sticker, and it is a promotional, has a little gold stamp on there as well. So this is probably my final copy of this uh, album, uh, as it's in really nice shape as well. So that's a good find there. And then uh, we got George Harrison's uh, Devil's Radio, 12-inch promotional. And we got uh, George Harrison. This is uh, Got My Mind Sent on You, 12-inch promo. And this is when we was fab, uh, twelve inch promo as well. And this is just the uh, the standard twelve inch here. I believe this is the UK version here. It has uh, I believe four tracks on it. Yep, it has a uh, when we was fag, fab, zigzag, that's the way it goes. And then we when we was faz. When we was fab, uh, reverse ending. So, a couple different variations there, and then we got the best of Dark Horse with the hype sticker here. And then this uh, live in Japan would uh, be next in line, I believe. Uh, this is a double album. Unfortunately, it does not have uh, a gatefold. Uh, so just uh, kind of a big, bigger pocket um, sleeve, and then you got two records on the inside, and this is a UK copy, and this is what the label looks like. And I believe this one has the uh, extra verse of uh, Taxman on it, so that's always fun to hear. And then next up, got an original copy of Brainwashed uh, with the hype sticker. And then we got uh, early, uh, George Harrison Early Takes Volume 1, and there is a clear vinyl version of this that I would like to pick up uh, one day here. And then we're going to end it off with Traveling Wilburys Volume 1. And not the least, and we got Traveling Wilburys Volume 3. So those are all my George Harrison uh, LPs and 12-inch uh, singles. Um, so I'm at a good a good point there uh, looking for upgrades and other kind of slight variations, but I'm finally happy to complete George Harrison discography, uh, have those all on vinyl. So really happy to complete that. Um, probably, I think John... Uh, John Lennon's discography is pretty close to being done. Um, 
Paul is nowhere near to be uh, to be complete. He has the most stuff, and also probably the hardest uh, solo albums to find in that kind of '90s to early 2000s frame. They can get very expensive, and then a couple of Fireman album are uh, are expensive as well. And then for Ringo, uh, this thing is just a matter of kind of finding it. And not all of his albums are on vinyl, so there's a couple CDs that I need to pick up uh, in terms of a physical copy of the album. So my uh, solo collection is growing pretty pretty well, and um, I'm always looking for uh, Beatles stuff, so that's a never-ending uh, journey. I don't think I'll ever complete that uh, entirely in its discography um, in terms of all the kind of variations and pressings. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all the George Harrison uh, records here, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.